interviewed on the radio, I've been interviewed by the print media, I've been interviewed by the television media, and they really don't say this. I live in Connecticut. From New Haven to the south, to Springfield, Massachusetts to the north, is about 60, 70 miles. From Danbury on the New York line, to Danielson on the Rhode Island line, yeah, about 120 miles. Well, geez. Oceanside to the Tijuana, and whatever the hell that is out, Luma, whatever the, Ote, whatever that, Acatello, whatever the hell it's called out east, to San Diego. So I go to the Census Bureau, because I'm an investigator. San Diego County has a population, by, and these are census numbers, 3,263,431 people. Wow, Connecticut has 3,596,677 people. That's pretty close, to, you know, 3.2, 3.5. Square miles. San Diego has 4,206.63 square miles. Wow, Connecticut has 4,842.36. Number of people per square mile. San Diego, 735.8, write that down. San Diego has 735.8 people per square mile. Connecticut has 738.1. How close can you get without hitting the lottery? The number of permits issued in San Diego County, 1,200 plus. The number of permits issued in Connecticut, and I know it's an old number, 200,000 plus. Anybody that's in a tea party and worrying about money, what in God's name would the revenue be to the county on 198,000 permits? That paid for enough people to do it. But those are some figures for you. And I just wanted to let you know that if you go to the internet and you Google the U.S. Census Bureau and you look at the figures, you'll see that you can cookie cutter uh, San Diego and place it on top of Connecticut. And the numbers almost match up. The only wild one that's way out of whack is the number of people that are carrying firearms. I'm not going to tell you why I need to have several permits. I told you a little bit about myself and my colored background. Uh, told you about my news media credentials and my concealed carry permit. The three things that they concentrate on are residency, good cause, and good moral character. <laughs> I'm a resident. If I'm here only for three months, I'm a resident. Good cause. Government's not gonna tell me what my cause is. As long as I have no prohibitors, I'm not a convicted felon, I don't do drugs, I don't drink alcohol, you know, all of that, okay? Good moral character? Well, let me see. I have a permit from Connecticut, a permit from Florida, a permit from, permit from Utah, and they wanted recommendations from three San Diego residents. I gave them about a dozen police chiefs in Connecticut with my application. So, which is more credible? A friend next door, hey, can you do me a favor, can you write a nice letter about me? Or a police chief who has it to put on the line. I've told you about attorney Rachel M. Baird. I've told you about attorney Paul Newharth. Um, I am currently represented by Michelle and Associates, attorney Chuck Michelle and Sean Brady uh, out of Long Beach. Um, and I'd like everybody to support and donate regularly. I'm not talking about come to a meeting at the Ramona main stage and put 10 bucks in the bucket. 
put a hundred bucks in the bucket. There has to be a way that you can make small donations every month to these organizations. To the gun owners of California, to the gun owners of America, to, to uh, Ramona Teed. But I have to acknowledge, number one on my list, is the National Rifle Association. Thank you, NRA. To the California Rifle and Pistol Association, thank you, CRPA. To gun owners of America, to gun owners of California, to the Cal Guns Foundation, and I can't leave out Connecticut Carry because I'm a director on Connecticut Carry in Connecticut, um, which has its own issues. Um, I have been told, how many people in here have CCWs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe ten, 11 people in here have CCWs? How many people in here would like, CC, like a CCW? All right. I flew here from Connecticut. I made a commitment that almost got blown at the last minute, but I, I made a commitment to come here. I wanted to meet you, and I want to be able to stand at the door and shake each one of your hands and let you know that, and you can write this down, Ed, Ed Peruta, E-D-P-E-R-U-T-A, at A-M Cable, A-M-C-A-B-L-E dot TV. I also have Ed Peruta at CT Gun Rights, but we'll leave that alone for right now. Now I'm going to give you something else. 860-978-5455. I am not afraid to give a group like this my cell phone number. I am not afraid to pick up the phone, as long as you're not from Mother Jones, <laughs> and discuss issues help you in any way I can, um, but I am not afraid of that. Um, I'm here because I love what I do. I love the country I live in. I'm a little disillusioned at California. I was always raised to think that that was the, the really the place to be until I started dealing with the public employees and I said, I want to put my tail between my legs and run back to Connecticut. Um, as the, what, I, I think that the UT wrote an article about me being the scourge of public agencies in Connecticut. That, that, that's better than the Bronze Star. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the fight you have when you come home that's the big fight. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. I am the media. We are the media. Your cell phones are the new news cameras of today and tomorrow. But here's what I'm going to tell you. And I want you to all, how many people read a newspaper? How many people read it online? How many people are aware of the fact that the media is reporting almost every firearm shooting that happens? Okay, it's, it's, it's in the paper, right? You know, I've been divorced twice. I paid child support. I used to get pissed at the phrase deadbeat dads. I said, well, what? There's no deadbeat moms. Why isn't it deadbeat parents? Why do you call them deadbeat dads? Why do you do your non-support sweep on a Friday to lock the fathers up, but you let the mothers come in on Monday? I didn't like the phrase deadbeat dads. And I fought the Hartford Current over the use of the phrase deadbeat dads. So here's what I'm going to tell you my new cause is, and maybe I've found enough people to start helping me. Whenever you read an article in paper or online, or on the internet anywhere, or hear it on a TV set or a radio station, and they say, a convenience store 
clerk in Oceanside was shot by an armed assailant with a handgun. Fair and balanced, an unarmed convenience store clerk was shot by an armed assailant with a handgun. The media needs to realize that we know that you're trying to sway public opinion, but if you start telling people the truth that it was an unarmed person who got shot. Now, I think that this will work. Write this name down. Lori, L-O-R-I, I believe, Galately, G-A-L-E-T-L-Y, 